get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore. It's no BS. It's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire. I'm Mike Costigan, the Agent on Fire. And we're going to help you become a super producer in real estate because I really only work with people who want to actually make something out of themselves. I definitely don't want you to have to go work at the car wash on the weekends to pay your rent, right? That kind of sucks. Real estate's already tough as it is. But to keep from getting your hands all sudsy on the weekends, you got to learn how to get some listings, right? I don't care what anybody's taught you. Your broker, I promise you most brokers don't know. Most trainers don't know. Most people give you busy work. You got to get listings. If you don't get listings, you're totally screwed. Know that now. You can turn this chat, you can turn this off, right? Tune me out completely because that's all I'm ever going to pound in your head is get listings. So in order to get listings, there's some tricks you need to know. And trust me, I've listed thousands of homes and sold thousands of homes. And I charge more than anybody that you know, and I get in and out quick. I put together a PDF, really consumable, really easy to use that you can download. I'm going to tell you how to get that in just a few minutes. But right now we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about a little fun, right? You know what the mind bender and the scream machine, right? <sighs> Roller coasters, two f***ing kick ass rides at Six Flags. Love them, right? You talk about a thrill. You're up and down and up and down. You go up, 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 and it's a real slow climb up. And then you scream machine, especially whoo, down thousand miles an hour. I mean, what a f***ing thrill. I remember the first time I rode on the scream machine. I had the, this cute little new blondie on my arm. I was hot. Oh, Great, greatest night ever. Real warm night in Georgia, you know. I was secretly, you know, I was thought I was a tough guy, but I was shaking inside. I, I don't know, maybe it's because I never jumped into a 100-mile-an-hour tin can before. Or maybe it was, well, just maybe it's her baby blue eyes. I don't know. But up and down, up and down, you know, turning, turning. My stomach was churning by the end. I, by the time I got to the bottom of it, I mean, it was a hell of a wild ride. Reminds me of real estate, though, right? Go in Monday morning, beginning of the month. It's like game on, starting fresh, right? Nothing going on. Everything closed at the end of the month. So you go out, you start getting some listing appointments. You start getting some buyers, which you're wasting your time if you're out there with buyers. But you start climbing that hill, right? You start going up, 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 up. You start writing some contracts, up, 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 higher and higher and higher the month progresses on. You're getting busier and busier. You finally get into the top of the hill. You've got some closings. One closes, another closes, another closes. Next thing you know, you're at the bottom of the hill and you're starting all over again. It's the damn real estate roller coaster. And it sucks, right? It really make you sick. It's like my night at Six Flags, right? I thought I was having a great time going up and down, up and down. I might have puked that night. Maybe in a trash can, right? Zero kisses, zero reward. Just like there's zero reward in riding the roller coaster in real estate. Think about what it does, right? Think about how many nights you lay awake in bed, brain ticking, wondering where the next commission is going to come from, right? What do I do? You, you start, I'm starting over. It's, it's the first of the month I'm starting over. Well, that sucks. That life sucks. When you start getting listings, everything comes really natural. Things become like really consistent for you. But instead of doing this, most people are going to follow up on these so-called good buyer leads, right? There's no such thing as a good buyer lead, except one that you refer out to somebody else or give to somebody on your team. If you're a salesperson, spend all of your time getting listings, right? So look, I've been through this. I've done this myself. I have, I have, I know what it's like to kill myself. Uh, I came from, you know, I've done every kind of sales imaginable when I get into real estate, right? Everything that I could possibly do to get business. And I finally figured out that it was just about getting listings. Look, even in unlistable markets, you can always dominate if you understand a few little things, right? Here I was killing myself, trying to impress little blondie, right? I'm Batman, some kind of superhero. I really, I was the friggin' Joker. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I learned these few little tricks and I put them into place and I use them all the time over and over again. It becomes like second nature for you. So to help you out, lucky you, I've put together a really quick PDF for you to get your hands on it. It's free, no gimmicks, no bullshit. Any of you know me, I'm a complete straightforward guy. I'm here to help. I get gratitude out of helping you today. Just go to agentonfire.com, download the seven ways to get 
listings in 30 minutes or less and charge more money. So thanks for tuning in and tune in next time where we're going to talk about, well, whatever the hell pops into my head. Take care.